All right. Welcome, 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 welcome once again to the Beatzilla PDX official news break. And this is breaking news. It appears that there has been, uh, I guess, a change of heart by one Joe Biden. And he says now that maybe he took a, the wrong approach. Uh, so without further ado, let me go ahead and play this for you. Good afternoon. I'm Giovanna Lotta. This is an Eyewitness News update. We have breaking news. President Biden has just announced that he is pardoning all prior federal offenses of simple possession of marijuana, a step expected to affect thousands of people. Biden is also asking governors to take a similar step for those with state convictions. Senior White House officials estimate that there are more than 6,500 people with prior federal convictions for simple possession of marijuana and thousands of others that could benefit benefit from this relief. Well, that's a quite the turn of events, something that has long been necessary. Uh, that definitely uh, changes the playing field in a lot of areas, uh, especially doing it on that end. But he needs to go ahead and go full blown and decriminalize it. So it, it covers all bases in all areas. So uh, this will get a lot of people um, free and get a lot of things off of people's records. So that is a good thing. Uh, however, I, I look, we can't ignore the timing family. It is right here uh, in the election midterm season. So uh, it, I guess, is a goodwill gesture. But again, it's a, a cover all kind of uh, program. So it's not specific, like as in uh, how foundational black Americans have consistently have been in Freedmen asking for reparations. And so that chant has still been going. You have bills like H.R. 40 that are studies of reparations, but we have more of a clear understanding. Uh, and, and everybody seems to think of uh, things uh, so much faster when it comes down to other groups and they can get dollar amounts just like that. So it looks like, um, you know, uh, so, some people will be coming home, hopefully, uh, in our community uh, from those minor offenses, which, you know, it's now a multi-million dollar business. Uh, so all of that is to be considered when things like this take place. Can you dig it? So just real quick, this was just a Beatzilla PDX news break. Just letting you know that this story that uh, just broke. So, you know, keep your eyes on this one, family. Let's see where this goes. Um, I'm sure that there will be a lot of people hopping out the window pretty soon talking about how this is something for black folk. Well, it is not. It is for a lift all votes type of program, which... <clears throat> would have to be because again, when it comes down to all the millions that are being made in this industry, all those people who are getting convicted that you have to now do this for aren't even a shadow in the revenue department in that industry. That might be something to seriously correct. Not a form of reparations, but something nonetheless to repair. So again, this has been a Beatzilla PDX official news break, breaking news about uh, President Joe Biden's new decision to uh, pardon a lot of uh, 420 offenses. So with that being said, y'all can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Beatzilla PDX, and uh, email me at ourrealtruth at gmail.com. And you can always uh, give a donation to this platform if you enjoy the content. Uh, the ticker is at the bottom and everything else will be in the description. Um, of course, there is super chat and super thanks. So you can do both those as well. So with that being said, family, yeah, things uh, we're going to start seeing more and more and more. But the, the bell has not been rung until they say reparations. Black first. Shalom, y'all.